So yes, instantly. But when I got on it, I just felt a lot more comfortable and sat in a far more upright position than I was. I'm not particularly leaning forward on the uh, the knickknacks. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Um, this is part two of maybe two of three where I'm adding accessories to the new GS that I've bought. In the previous video, which I'll put the little card at the top here, I put the uh, the pannier mats and the top box mat on from Nippy Norman's. I put a toolbox uh, onto the, the frame there and also got some frame bungs. And this second part of the uh, video is going to include the uh, handlebar risers, which I've been truly looking forward to doing and seeing what they're like on the bike. And um, the next two after that is probably be the front mud guard and the mudsling. Um, and uh, that will maybe conclude this video. And the third one uh, will include some stickers being put here and there. So, first thing I'll begin with is I'll show you uh, what come in the Vondelik uh, kit uh, for the handlebar risers. So I'll take you along with me. We have here is the actual risers themselves and we've got the actual um, screws that come with it there's two for putting in the uh, risers themselves and there's two of them that have a short collar and two of them just uh, normal as the same as the rest and then when you put the actual clamps at the top you use these four which are all identical to put the clamps on screwing the front two screws first and the back screws last to maintain that little gap at the bottom of the, uh, the clamp which I'll show you later. There's a, a cable tie to replace the cable tie that's down by the, uh, the steering column and also a torque wrench and I believe T40s and T45 um, screwing uh, those two screws and as well as the um, torque wrench itself uh, set to 19 nanometers nanometers nms num nums as i like to call them uh, and that's for cutting the old cable tie that's one there uh, i have no idea why i've got these extra bits that came with the one lick kit no idea maybe those bits you can show at the end you've saved and the instructions pretty straightforward undo the four screws cut the cable tie Put the new cable tie, put the new risers in using the right screws. There's a lineup screw that, uh, notch there, which may or may not work for me, depending on how I like the handlebar set. And then putting the new screws back in, two at the top, tighten them up first, and do the last two with the top, do them all with the torque wrench, but do this last two last, and you'll end up with a little gap at the bottom of the, the clamp there. So, Let's get started. I will put you back at the top here. Where we will begin. So the first thing we need is something to protect the tank here from when the handlebars come off. Don't want it going clank and scraping and scratching. So I've got this cloth here, which I will put on. there and tuck a bit in around the corners there just to make sure and I will go my torque wrench make sure it's set correctly to the unscrew position so I'm going to do these four over here but do them gently so as the handlebar doesn't drop suddenly that one done and the top ones let's just keep a, an eye on the handlebars here as we do that one come on camera there we go and 
that's all four of them loosened up. All right, there's the handlebar going to move. Let's see. It was wiggling, but it's not moving. So maybe I need to loosen it a bit more. Maybe potentially take a couple out. But let's go a bit further. Oh, here we go. It's starting to drop. See if we can make that drop a bit more or not. Yeah, doesn't want to, doesn't want to go. Just drop the. Uh, well, let's take them out. But while we've got hold of it in the one hand. Okay, that's one. Stay put. I think it's gonna stay put. I'll risk it. Where'd that go? Here it is. Let's just give our elbow underneath it. That's two. Let's see if the handlebars are ready to come down by themselves. I get the feeling they may have got stuck to the top clamps. Hence it's not being they're not dropping. feel that way because when I move it they're moving with the clamps so that's going to be an interesting thing to see how we can get that released from the clamps perhaps I need an extension on this not long now there's a feel it's coming Typical, I get an aeroplane going over the top. So yeah, this uh, clamp looks, it's got stuck to the handlebar. So we've got to be wary that it's not going to just all of a sudden release and drop. She's got that cloth on there. Just give the uh, tank a bit of a clank, and I should use an extension get the uh, torque wrench away. Let's put that leg down here. Let's see. All right, so that's the fourth screw out. And yeah, it looks like these have stuck to the actual handlebar. Let me show you. Yeah. These guys aren't coming off. I shall have to give them a little whack, I think. Let's see. OK, 
can we whack them with? A little hammer. Let's see, we've got a little hammer, a little convincer. To show I do have a hammer. Right, so I now have a hammer, found it where it was hiding. I'm going to try and tap these gently. Hopefully off the tank, they will just pop off. Yeah, there we go. The other one. Yeah, there we go. So thankfully, not too much of a problem. On one hand, it was quite helpful that they were very tight and that they didn't let the handlebars just drop. So I don't know whether that's the case for everybody, but that certainly was the case here. Right, so handlebars back there, catching anything. Right, let's get the risers and make sure we got them, put them on the right way around. I'm taking the four screws, two of which have the shallow shoulder. And it says to where these notches are. Well, this, the cutout, the triangular cutout. It's not, it's not on that side, it's only on this side. I think they need to be on the outside, facing the outside. Let me just confirm that, that they are facing the outside. Yes, they are. So this guy goes here. Nope, the right way around. It's not the wrong way around. That one goes there. And this guy goes here. So move the handbar a bit out of the way. Cool. And the ones with the short, shallow shoulder go into the hole here so they don't protrude and catch the handlebar when they're screwed in fully. So I'll just do them, just position them now. Just by hand. And from what I understand, there's no particular order to do these guys in. It's only the last ones of the clamps on top. So we can see how this is looking right now. So I'll just, think, just put them in, position them in with the uh, carving on the outside. And we'll tighten them up now with the torque wrench up to 19. Nanometers, and I don't know whether these are 45s or 40s. Let's just try. Ah, 45s, 45, 45. So, just double check that I've got this on. 19 num nums. Uh, 19. There we go. It's going to take some time like this. I wonder if I could just do them oh, yeah, by hand first, I think. Just get it most of the way in.
yeah, I've been really looking forward to these because every time I've been out on the GS, after about an hour or so, I feel my arms and the uh, crown jewels suffering because I'm leaning forward just a little bit too much. And if you remember from the, the R1200, see here, it's a very much upright position. The monkey bar is coming out and it's just really a comfortable seating position because I'm sitting on, on the old uh, buttocks. Um, while this one, no, with the handlebars where they are, I'm just leaning that a little bit forward. After about an hour, I'm starting to feel it. Right, so let's tighten these up. Right, I'm just going to round them just quickly. Get them seated in fully. Okay. Start with this one. Get seated in. Okay, so 19, 19. Let's hear those clicks. Okay. Okay, sweet. Just double check this one. Yeah. And last but not least. Check that. Sweet. That's those guys in. Let me show you that. I'll just swap the bits over. So, you can see these guys now are in. That should be under the surface so it doesn't catch the handlebars and it feels it. I'm running my finger on it. I can see it's not protruding in any way. So the next thing is to put these handlebars back in there. There is a little notch on there, which has to the instructions, so that should line it up with the zero line on the bar. I'll try that first, just to see if that's the correct position. But I'm sure I can you know, move it up and down to what's comfortable for me. And uh, usually I think it's the, the, the grips should be uh, almost parallel. Uh, but we'll, we'll try that in a bit. Let's put you guys back here. Right, so next thing is to move this off here onto there. And yeah, this is very slippery. Um, there are two vertical lines crossing the two horizontal lines on the handlebars, which should, if you line them up with both of the risers, should center the, uh, the handlebars. So let's grab the screws that came with the, uh, the risers, not using the same ones that we took out. And let's uh, get these clamps back on. So it's going to have to be a bit loose at the beginning. So let's just get them in, hook or by crook. Doesn't say whether there's a front or a back or top or a bottom. It looks identical either way. And watching a whole lot of other videos, I don't think anybody has mentioned that these top clamps have a an up or a down or a right way up. Right, so those guys in there. Mm. Oh, there we go. It's so it does appear to be the stiffness of the clamps is actually helping me out here.
it's, it's stiffness of the top clamps are actually holding the handlebars up again I wouldn't really trust it so we'll just risk it all right then we just check that the handlebars are actually looking at those horizontal lines we are indeed where we should be yeah of how I will try lining it up with the, the notch that they say with the zero line just a bit more <laughs> let's have a look there we go that's the zero line I'll just just keep it there for now I won't totally tighten them up but just enough to to hold it what I'll do now is I'll have a seat just to see if they are where they should be so you can see how they're f sitting Right, so I'll put you over here. Can you see? Yes, let's see if uh, that position. Oop, there we go. So, yeah, the grips look horizontal. That's how I think they should be. And they already feel a lot better, even just that, very noticeably better. So yeah, I'm happy with that. And certainly if, it's, uh, if it looks like then they're either slightly low or I need to bring them up a bit, I can always adjust that later. So we'll go out for a ride and I'll, I'll see what it's like. All right, so now let's tighten up the screws. And don't put any weight on the handlebars if you haven't tightened them up. In other words, you put everything out again. You have to line them up. So just double checking that the zero lines are lined up. And the vertical lines are in place. Everything's centered. Yes, it is. As the instructions say, tighten up the top ones first. Well, before we do that, let me just bring this bottom ones into, into position. That's yeah, pretty, pretty tough. slack off basically all right now the top ones 19 num nums one more go cool and can see the gap at the bottom of the clamps cool Cool. 
that's it. These guys set. So we're going to sit on it. I think I need this anymore. Or shall I leave it in place just in case? Sometimes I don't trust my own workmanship. Yeah, that's not moving. Oh yeah, oh yeah, much better. I can tell by the way I'm sitting that the uh, the crown jewels are very much happier. Yeah, looking forward to this. All I gotta do now is uh, adjust the uh, cable tie. I need to snip the one that's there and put the cables around the frame. Let's do that next. Who's beeping? Somebody giving up? Hmm, okay. Don't know what his problem was. Right, let's snip the cable tie. I think lots of other people have also mentioned it, that it's really good to uh, have the bike on the center stand when you're doing this sort of thing. It's uh, the best way, I think. All right, let's find this. Uh, Cable tie, there he is. Snip. That's that little guy snipped. Ooh. All right, so basically this thing, I need to take, there's four cables in there. From what I understand, only three of them go around the frame, according to the, the diagram. Don't know if you can see it. I will try and show you. But basically, the sheathed one here does not is not included, and the cabling here. You can see it's still down here. I put it underneath the bracket that it was tied to. They only do the other cables. So, just to make sure we don't grab an extra cable that we shouldn't be. Let's get the cable tie a bit of a bend so we can curl it round and bring it back. And it goes, oh, just about see it. Come on, can I, uh, no, it won't make any difference. I can just about, yeah, got it. So, I'm sure we have finally grabbed the cables we need, yep. And we don't need to grab the other one. it and cut the excess off. And that is done. Ladies and gentlemen, the whole thing is done. So let's have a, a tour of this little jobette. So that is quite a difference, and I certainly can feel the difference just sitting on the bike. The other side. There. And the cable tie 
I don't know whether you'll be able to see it or not. But basically, yes, dead center there. It's now around this piece of frame and not taking in this cable. That's per the diagram. Cool. So this is one little job at of this video done. I thought I'd come out for a quick ride and uh, see what the new riders are doing and it certainly added to the look of bike I can see the the difference in the way the uh, the risers are sitting and the way the handlebars have gone up it really is quite a, a difference I've been looking forward to putting these on for quite a while so at last I've done it so I don't know if they've been elevated as well uh, upwards, I think they they are elevated upwards a bit. So I think we'll take some pictures. So yes, instantly, the one I got on it, I just felt a lot more comfortable. I'm sat in a far more upright position than I was. I'm not particularly leaning forward on the, uh, the knickknacks and uh, a lot more comfy. So I think this was a perfectly the right add-on to put onto the bike for me. So looking down at it now, it's actually quite noticeable. It's pulled away from the, where it was. And the notch where I lined up the uh, zero line and the Wunderlich risers is spot on. <laughs> because the grips are literally parallel. Again, on this uh, Roman road here. I've been on it on the, uh, on the cruiser, the R1200C. So if you've seen the earlier videos, you might recognize this view on this road. As you can tell, you know that uh, being in a more of an upright position is uh, a lot more. Uh, it basically makes me able to go on far more longer journeys. So as I said, there was when I was riding for about an hour, I really needed to uh, not desperately get off, but I just thought I needed a break. Hour, hour and a half, it was sort of plenty. I was feeling it in the shoulders, but I think I could go much longer now having been sat more upright. So anyway, that's uh, one little uh, 
add-on from the list of add-ons that I've got left to do to put on uh, my new GS adventure. Actually, I'm wondering whether standing up is uh, also a lot easier. I shall give it a go in a minute. This particular bit. Seeing anybody coming around the corner. Oh, yeah. Well, I could, to be honest, I can't remember, but but this definitely feels a lot more, a lot more comfortable. <laughs> 